it's Yui. Today I'm going to show you how to cook Easy Basque Cheesecake. This cake is originally from San Sebastian in Spain, which is famous for delicious foods and restaurants. And I've been there a few times and fell in love with this creamy cheesecake. I know it's not a Japanese dessert, but it's been very popular in Japan for the past few years. Although the prep is quick and easy, the taste is very rich and creamy. My friends and family love this recipe, so please try it! I tried so many recipes for Basque cheesecake and finally created this one which is very tasty of course and so soft and creamy. We don't need to measure ingredients with a scale and can use up 8 ounces of cream cheese and heavy cream packs so we won't have any leftovers. First, preheat in an oven at 480 degrees Fahrenheit. Then put the cream cheese in a bowl. If it's room temperature and soft, it's okay, but if not, microwave it for 1 minute with a plastic wrap to make it soft. Add the sugar there and mix them together. You can use brown sugar as well since we'll caramelize the top of the cake later on. Crack and beat 3 eggs. Then add the beaten egg into the cream cheese mixture in 4 batches and mix them together. Next, add 2 teaspoons of flour and keep mixing. I always use gluten-free flour to make it gluten-free, but you can just use regular flour. Then add a heavy cream and mix well. Now, I'd like to introduce 3 options that you can use to really elevate this cheesecake. If you have all the ingredients at home, please try all of them. First one is adding a pinch of salt. It's gonna enhance the flavors like salted caramel. The second one is adding a vanilla extract. The cheesecake has a kind of custard taste, so vanilla extract goes great with it. The last one is adding liqueur. I like using Cointreau, Grand Marnier, Rum, or Bourbon for a little richness and depth. Before pouring the mixture into a baking pan, with a piece of wax paper or parchment paper and squeeze the water out with your hand. Then place it on the baking pan. This way, the wax paper will fit on the baking pan easily. Pour the cheesecake mixture into the wax paper baking pan and put it in the oven. Bake for about 40 minutes. Even if the top of the cake is burned, it's okay. The deep golden brown color is what we want for this cheesecake. The burned part is caramelized and has a slightly bitter taste. After baking, take it out of the oven and let it cool to room temperature. The cake is quite tall at first, but shrinks as it cools. You can eat it once it has cooled down, but you can also put it in the fridge for 3 days. I recommend eating it at room temperature because the inside gets softer and creamier so even if you put it in the fridge, take it out 30 minutes before eating. It's super creamy and just melts in your mouth. The creamy inside and the bitter burn top balances out perfectly. Not much effort to bake this cake but the outcome is amazing like a tisselie cake. Hope you like this recipe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and see you again. Matane!